Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about pork. Tony Porter of Nashville, Ohio has asked me to give her a new pork chop recipe, so we'll see what we can do here. We're going to do some pork fajitas, how's that? As you can tell I'm inside the kitchen today, it's a little light rain off and on today, it's blowing onto the porch, so I figured we'll come on inside. And get the pan started here. Okay, we're going to do pork fajitas. I am going to use pork tenderloin for two reasons. Number one, I really like pork tenderloin. It's much tender, much more tender, I should say. And that happens to be what I have on hand, so that's what I'm going to be using. But Tony, you could easily, easily use pork chops for this also. The key to this whole dish is the marinade that this has been in. I've got probably, I don't know, maybe a pound, a little bit more of uh, pork tenderloin, and I cut it up into strips. And it's marinating in garlic, fresh from the garden, oregano fresh from the garden, salt, a little bit of vinegar, orange juice, and a little bit of hot sauce. That's the key. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in our pan here. Also got fresh green, red, and yellow bell peppers straight out of my garden this morning, and also fresh chopped onions straight out of my garden. Using all the all the fresh stuff. We're gonna start putting those in right off the bat. Get those going first. Yeah, the whole key to this thing is marinade because other than that there's not a whole lot of special special anything to it. We're not going to add anything to the actual dish itself. Going to saute these for a little bit before we add the pork. Yeah, just I was trying to think what I could do different for pork and I, I don't think I've ever made pork fajitas before. Always been with beef or yeah, you know, usually with beef. Like I said, welcome to my kitchen. If you haven't been with me for very long, when I first started doing these, I, I was in here in the kitchen. We moved outside in the summer, but we should be able to get some more rain outside. This is a, a rarity for us, actual rain. As I've said many times on Facebook, we only average ten and a half inches a year for rain. I know people back in the Midwest get that in a couple storms. I was born and raised in Ohio, so I remember that. And that's exactly why I'm here. Alright, we're going to add the pork. Right along with the marinade. It's been marinating for maybe 30 minutes. Gonna just cook this up good. I wasn't planning on doing this inside, so I, I have no idea if this camera angle is working for you or not. You're gonna have to let me know. I just kind of did this on the fly. If you'd rather have a different cam camera angle or have it set up somewhere different, let me know. got all this counter space so I don't think I really need to bring in that other thing that I had out on the porch. I know you can see all the counter space and all the prep area. But I, so like I say, let me know. Let me know what you think. Pork tenderloin is super, super tender. I don't know if you've ever used pork tenderloin or not. The marinade has orange juice in it. That, that kind of intrigued me. I've never had a never had a marinade with orange juice before. First time I've tried this, so we'll we'll see together how it comes out. Uh, 
this is looking really good. Okay, folks, the key to pork is not to overdo it. So many people when they're when they're cooking pork, cooking pork, cooking pork, overdo it, and it just comes out dry and tough and chewy. We're just about done here right now. As a matter of fact, that's all the longer it takes. You can actually you can actually leave pork a little pink. I know some of the old timers are going, you're out of your mind, but it's okay to do that nowadays. Processing plants have been so much more improved, but a little pink in your pork is not a problem. I'll tell you what, I think we're just going to call that a meal. All we got to do is the tortillas. Use this. Another pan. I actually should have left that fire on. I always use raw tortillas. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't know if you've tried these before, but if you haven't, Tell me, once you try them, you'll never go back. Canasta brand, I don't know if you can, if you've ever seen those in the store or not, but they're right along with the rest of the tortillas. But they're actually uncooked, they're, they're raw tortillas. I'm telling you, once, once you try these, you'll never go back to those fluffy, we, we used to use the fluffy ones all the time, but we decided to try these one time, and I'm telling you what, that's probably 10 years ago. I haven't used one of the other ones since. Need to be refrigerated once they're open, but because they are on the dry rack in the store. They're not refrigerated. Even though you would think raw, it would, but it's not. I know, I shouldn't be doing that with my hands. In fact, my hands are clean. I don't know how, how I've got the music up. I'm so used to having it, listening to it from the outside. I don't know if it's too loud or not loud enough. Let me know that also. I'm sure when the pork was cooking, you couldn't hear it much because of the boiling and crackling. All right, we're starting to get there. We are almost done. in there. I don't think I'm nuts, but trust me. All right, we're good to go. We're going to do, shovel a little of our mix in here. And I also have some lettuce here. Put a little bit of that on there. Also made up some guacamole. I'm slather a little bit of that in there. You could also use salsa if you'd like. Try to give you a little bit of a look at this before I wrap it up here. See what you think. Okay, I've never actually tried these either, so it's gonna be a first for me. That will work. Tony, I hope you like that. Quick, simple, and you can use, like I say, your pork chop, not a problem. Just cut it right off the bone, cut it into little strips. Got the same thing that I just did. So, Tony Porter of Metro, Ohio, I hope you enjoyed the pork recipe. Send me some more recipes, some more uh, recipe requests, folks. I need some more to get started. I'm probably going to have to do maybe 
one video less a month because my internet is it's taking up too much of uh, room on my internet service. Ended up getting suspended like every month. I have to call in and get it kicked back in again. Like I said, give me give me some ideas for some recipes and let me know what you want. And Tony, again, I hope you like that recipe. And you can tell your friends and neighbors, laissez les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. And so now, I'm getting ready to eat pork fajitas. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>